Welcome back to our fifth and final video in this denistifying NIST video series, where we have taken a look and broken down each of the five functions of the NIST cybersecurity framework to understand what makes them tick and how this has become the gold standard for our industry in building a cybersecurity program and how it can help you improve your own cybersecurity posture. In the previous video, we have discussed identify, protect, detect, respond, and now, last but not least, recover. When all else fails, you need to be able to bounce back. That is the reality of the recover function. It's all about recovering. It's all about carrying out your disaster recovery plans and being able to restore any capabilities or any services or anything that might have been impacted by a cyber attack. This includes ensuring that recovery plans were executed, you have implemented all the improvements for lessons learned, you have coordinated communications while bringing things back online, and you have just generally brought your business back into a functioning state. So I wanna ask you a couple questions and I want you to answer me honestly. And I don't, I don't want just the yes or no answer, I want the rationale and reasoning behind it, an enumeration and explanation of what your answer is truly behind that yes or no. Do you have a disaster recovery plan? Do you have the continuity of operations plan? Do you have the incident response plan that we needed in the last stage of the NIST CSF? Do you have backups? Have you tested your backup? Do you know the phone number of your cyber insurance provider? Do you have a lawyer? Do you have what they call a breach coach? Do you know who to call and when and how? And do you have all of this written down? Is this actually documented? Can you point me towards the policies and procedures for all of these? This is usually a hard conversation to have. Normally when we ask these questions out on stage, hey, we get people, can you raise your hand? It is a sad sight to see. You do not have to be a part of that problem. You can be part of that solution. You just need to get this stuff ready in advance. Prepare it before stuff hits the fan. And look, if, if an incident occurred and you didn't have all these things already planned out, already written down and fleshed out, that's okay. It is a learning opportunity as much as a tough and painful thing that is, as much as a hard pill that is to swallow. That's the reason why this NIST cybersecurity framework is a circle. That's why I say cybersecurity is a heartbeat and there's sort of a living pulse to it because it's something that you can continuously improve upon. As a whole, the NIST cybersecurity framework can be used as a tool to help assess your own security strategy. Whether it's just the recovery section or working backwards, respond, detection, protection, identification, all of these functions, all these stages, these are things you can revisit and go back to and improve upon and find the gaps and fill them in. Maybe some of these sections are more empty than others, and that's okay, as long as you find them before the bad people do. That's a good thing. That's why we do this. And that's why it's our responsibility. It's on us. And that's something that, I don't know, I, I accept that challenge and I hope you do too. I hope that's something that kind of invigorates you like, look, this is why we do security so we can keep getting it better. And with that, I hope that this short video series has helped you learn more about the NIST cybersecurity framework and sort of helped establish the building blocks that you can use to spot, manage, and fight back against today's threats. We should make hackers earn every inch of their access.